Hey, I see you're talking up there as you walk. What are you, what's that about? What are you saying? I don't plan on it, trust me. <laughs> Thank you for the advice, though. I'll take that with me. You know, it's an honor to be in this position. I'm carrying on a legacy. My family started over 200 years ago. Back in Europe, they came over from Germany in 1928. And I'm honored to be able to carry on this lifelong family history and heritage. You know, I hope each and one, every one of you are inspired by what I'm doing. That no matter what challenges you might be facing right now, I'm facing the challenge of gravity. But whatever you're facing, always focus on the other end. Jesus is our solid rock. Focus on Him, and you'll make it through any challenge. I truly believe that you can do anything in this life. Anything. If you set your mind to it and trust in God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 is my favorite scripture. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understandings. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will fill those desires of your heart. Well, I have some strange desires in my heart, that's for sure. And I didn't know why God was going to fulfill those desires. The perfect example is walking over Niagara Falls. I truly believed from the beginning that God gave me that desire. But I didn't know why. I thought, God, why would you give me a desire like this? But there's where that part of the scripture comes in that says, lean not on your own understandings. Because little did I know that I would get permission, which took changing two laws in two countries, one in the U.S., one in Canada, that was over 100 years old, just to get permission to do that. And throughout the whole process, I kept giving God the glory and said, God, if it's your will, I pray that it would happen. Well, that special was aired live on ABC. It was seen by 13 million people, and it was the highest rated TV special in the last seven years. And I didn't realize that they were going to have my mic caught as I was praising the name of Jesus. And I got testimony after testimony of people saying that their lives were affected by that. I got a story from one woman who said she couldn't walk without crutches for about four years. She watched me doing that. She picked her crutch up. She turned it sideways like a balancing pole, started calling out to the name of Jesus. And she was able to walk for the first time in four years without crutches. So I give God all the glory for what I do. It's a very unique talent. I want to make sure that everybody understands. I often hear from believers, well, aren't you testing God? Well, I don't believe I'm testing God because I believe God's given me a very unique talent and I choose to bring glory to His name. If I was testing God, I would get on this table without ever training, ever practicing, never being prepared. For the Grand Canyon, I knew that I'd face winds after four years of studies. There were about 50 miles per hour while I was out of the canyon, 1,500 feet up. 